Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this cute little purse. It has very cute pom-pom border here. And here's the inside. It also have this little snap. And I'm not gonna make a lining for this purse. If you wanna make a lining for your purse, I also have video tutorial for that. I'm gonna put the link in the description below if you wanna check it out. And I have free written pattern. It's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. And if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry, and Lovecraft. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. For this purse, it's fairly easy to make and you can use any hook, any yarn you prefer. I'm gonna tell you exactly how can you adjust your purse size. Very easy. Alright? I made two versions of this. So this one I use cotton yarn. This one I use velvet yarn. I love them both. But I never made um, a purse with velvet yarn before. And I really want to see how it's going to turn out. I think it's cute. I love it. But I'm not sure how strong it's going to be. So that's why I make two versions of this. So yeah. The size of this purse is about... Six inches wide and then 7.29 inches tall. Alright, I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Here is the materials that I use for this project. I use Burnett Handicrafter, Cotton Deluxe. This one in color gold, 100% cotton. Number four medium weight yarn. In each ball is have 215 meter or 236 yards and you can use any yarn you prefer and I gonna tell you exactly how can you adjust your back side it's very easy all right and I use three millimeter crochet hook I use smaller hook because I want my stitches it's kind of tight that way it makes it stronger in my opinion anyways that's what I like to do and then scissors your needle and two stitch marker and I also use this snap for my purse for the flap okay and you can find this at Joanne or Hobby Lobby or Michaels I gonna put the link in the description below where you can find this online as well on Etsy okay and this is leather strap I also use this you don't have to use this totally up to you and I bought this long time ago and I want to be able to use it and it's come with this uh, attached to your bag but I think I, I'm not gonna need this I just gonna take it out all right let's get started okay for this pattern is multiple of five plus three chains if you don't know what is multiple of five plus three chains so you're gonna make a group of five chains like five chain five chain five chain five chains until you happy with the width and then you're gonna add three more chain at the end that is multiple of five plus three chains okay and in the chain when you start it's gonna be uh, the width of the bag and in the row that you make gonna be the length but the length includes everything, includes the front side, the back side, and then the flap, okay? And I'm gonna go through that later as well, so don't worry, just focus on uh, the width part for now. So I'm gonna make 28 chains, that is multiple of 5 plus 3 chains. So first, make slip knot, and I'm gonna make 28 chains. Make sure don't make your chain too tight. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have 28 chain here. Row one, gonna be the wrong side. For an odd number row, gonna be the wrong side. So I'm gonna make one double crochet into the third chain from the hook right here. I'm gonna skip the first two chain. So I yarn over hook, I skip the first two chain insert the hook into the next chain and I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain you don't have to do that totally up to you insert the hook there yarn over pull up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops 
yarn over pull through two loops and in the first two chain that we skip it doesn't count as a stitch and then we're gonna make one double crochet into each chain across so I yarn over hook insert the hook into the next chain again I go into the little bump on the back of the chain and then yarn over pull up a loop and make a double crochet and then double crochet into the next chain and double crochet into the next chain and double crochet into the next chain all right i'm gonna keep making one double crochet into each chain across and i will be back when i'm at the end of row one here i'm at the end of row one here and i have a total of 26 double crochet stitches across for row two chain two and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and the first two chain never count at a stitch and then we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across so i'm gonna make the first double crochet into the first stitch here and then double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch all right keep doing that across and i will be back when i'm at the end of row two i'm at the end of row two here and i have the same 26 double crochet stitches across and for row three to row 38 i'm gonna repeat row two and every row i'm gonna have the same amount of the stitches because i'm not increase or decrease and now if you want a longer purse feel free to add more row but just make sure you end with an even number of row and keep that in mind all the row that you make will include the front side the back side and then the flap as well and i gonna explain again when it's come to that part all right so i'm gonna show you a little bit on row three here like i said repeat row two we chain two and turn and then make the first double crochet into the first stitch and then double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch very easy pattern all right i'm gonna keep repeating row two until i reach the end of row 38 and i will be back good luck okay now i have 38 rows this is the end of row 38 and for row 39 it's gonna be the final row we're gonna make the pom-pom border here oops okay and i'm gonna explain a little bit here like I tell you earlier, if you want taller bag, you can do that as well. And this one I make 38 for the double crochet row. And then for row 39, I make the border, right? So for this one, I make 44 rows for the double crochet rows. And then row 45, I make the pom-pom border. All right, I'm going to show you here. So this will include the front side, the back side, and then the flap. So this is going to be the front side. We're going to fold it up like this, right? And this is going to be the back side, like that. And then this is going to be the flap. We're going to fold it down like this. And then we're going to sew this side and then this side. And this is depend on how you want your uh, bag to be. If you want your flap to be longer like cover everything it's gonna look like this and if you want longer than this you need to make more row right and also if you want just a little bit of the uh, flap detail here you can do that as well so yeah for me i'm happy with 38 rows all right for row 39 we're gonna start make the pom-pom border so chain one and turn 
and the chain one doesn't count at its stitch and then we're gonna make one single crochet into the first stitch here and now we're gonna make the chain for the pom-pom border so this part if you want longer than this make more chain when you start or if you want shorter than this make less chain okay so for me that part I gonna make six chains so here's one two three four five six okay this is gonna be the length for my pom-pom border and now to start the pom-pom we are gonna make three chains one two three so basically I just chain nine but the first six chain is gonna be the length of that pom-pom border all right and then next we're gonna make the cluster stitch into the third chain from the hook so here is the first chain here is the second chain and here is the third chain so for the cluster stitch you're gonna yarn over hook and then insert the hook into that third chain yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops and then we're gonna do that into the same chain three times this is the first time so I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the second time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the third time, and I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one to complete the cluster stitch okay now we're gonna chain two one and two and then we're gonna make the cluster stitch on top of the first cluster that we did right here so yarn over hook insert the hook into that top stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops we're gonna do that three times into the same stitch yarn over insert the hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops this is the second time yarn over hook insert the hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops this is the third time and I have four loops on my hook yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one to complete this cluster stitch all right now to make the pom-pom we're gonna fold this cluster stitch in half to the front like this to create the pom-pom and then slip stitch into the first chain that we made the first cluster but I try to go into two loops when I make the slip stitch insert the hook there and then yarn over pull up a loop and pull it through to make a slip stitch there we go <laughs> make it tight okay and now I'm gonna chain six because I start with six chains. And if you start with five chains, you're gonna chain five. If you start with three chains, you're gonna chain three. Okay? So yeah, I start with six chain, I'm gonna chain six. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. Into the next stitch, make a single crochet. All right, and then I can now repeat this a clause. I also have step-by-step -step video tutorial how to make the pom-pom border. If you wanna check it out, I gonna put the link in description below. So yeah, I just gonna repeat that. I gonna make six chain and plus three, total of nine. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then into the third chain from the hook, I'm going to make the cluster stitch. Make exactly the same. And then chain two. And then make a cluster stitch on top of the first cluster that we did right here all right and now we 
gonna fold the cluster in half to the front and then make a slip stitch into the same chain that we made the first cluster and I like to try my best to go into both loops there and then make slip stitch make it tight and now I'm gonna chain 6 and then I'm gonna skip 4 stitches 1, 2, 3 and 4 into the next stitch I'm gonna make a single crochet see I just repeat the same thing alright I'm gonna repeat this across alright now we're done with the um, the back we just need to sew the side together so I'm gonna cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail just enough to weave in the end later and then pull the yarn out so this is the wrong side and here is the right side okay to sew the back together I want you to fold the bottom up here and we're gonna fold the right side facing each other because we're gonna sew on the wrong side and now you can fold however you like if you want taller back like that with a little bit detail of the flap you can do that as well okay or you can fold it down and have more flap detail to the front totally up to you all right for me i gonna fold around here i leave seven rows for the flap here all right okay now i have one side sewn here and i'm gonna show you how to sew on this side i use the yarn needle and then i cut a new strand of yarn about 22 24 inches long make sure that you have the tail to sew the side okay and you can use slip stitch or single crochet to join the side together as well but for me i'm just gonna use the yarn needle i'm gonna start sewing from the top here all the way down here and i have seven rows for my flap here so i'm gonna insert my needle here i just mark right there i'm just gonna remove the stitch marker and remember that stitch right there bring it up and leave a little bit of tail to sew it in later and then I'm gonna insert into the same stitch one more time just to lock the yarn and then I'm gonna go into the next stitch here and then next stitch there it's difficult to see a normal stitches because we sew into the end of each row you can guess where you're gonna insert your needle into but whatever you do just make sure it's nice and even that's all important and don't sew it too tight or too loose oops okay next stitch here and next stitch there bring it up and then next stitch here and next stitch there and bring it up shake as you go all right here's what it looks like so far See, just make sure it's nice and lining up like that. Alright, I'm just gonna keep sewing like this all the way down till the end. And then I'm gonna weave the end. And then after that, I will show you how to sew the snap into the purse. Okay, now after I sew till the end here, I already went ahead and weave the end already. Now I have both sides sewn. And this is the wrong side, right? We sew on the wrong side. And next, we're gonna turn the inside out, which is the right side, because we're gonna sew the um, snap on the right side. So this is the right side. And then I'm gonna place my snap into my purse. 
So I put the thinner one on the flap and then I put the thicker one down here. And now you just need to, you know, eyeball it, play around with it where you want it to be. So I want it to be right there. Make sure it's nice and even too. You can try it close down as well. Yeah, I think around there is good. And then I gonna start sewing. And I gonna use a yarn needle to sew and I use this yarn to sew as well, but I split it in half. So let me show you. So see here, this is the whole yarn, right? The whole thing. And then I split it out. Sorry, it's not focused here. Okay, here we go. So see, this is the, the yarn and then I split it like that. And then I'm gonna use this to sew. And you also can use just the regular thread and then sewing needle to sew as well, totally up to you. But I just wanna show what I do. Anyways, I'm gonna sew the top one first. Make sure it's nice and even. All right. And then start sewing. Like that. And then I'm gonna tie those in together to secure. Try to hide it on the back. <laughs> like that and then sew into the same stitch I'm gonna do that a couple more times just to make sure it's nice and even oops sorry just to make sure it's nice and uh, strong make sure don't sew through the outside you wanna keep the thread on the inside okay so I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna move to the next hole here. I'm just gonna go the hole down uh, here, bring it in, and then I'm gonna grab some stitch here, just a little bit, and then insert into that hole, like that, and then bring it up, and then do that a couple more times. Just make sure it's secure, okay? Like that. I think it's good. And now I'm gonna move to this hole. Do the same. Like that. Bring it in. Like that. And then I'm gonna do that a couple more times. I think it's good. I'm gonna move to that hole. And I'm gonna do that a couple more times. Like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna insert my tail to the back, like uh, behind this snap. Kinda like that. Oops. And then try to, you know, make a knot, a few knots in there. And then be the end and I'm done with this side. And then I'm gonna sew this one here. Alright. And now I have both sides sewn. I just gonna close it. See? I think it's super cute. I love it. And I just need to whip this in. And I'm done. I'm gonna show you how I attach my little strap here. And like I said, if you wanna make your own strap, you can make, you know, a chain, a long chain, and then make slip stitch and then attach to your bag. Very easy. All right, I'm gonna show you how I put it in here. So I'm gonna attach on the side of my bag here. 
like that. And here is another side. Right there. I think it looks very good on this bag. Cute. I love it. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy making this cute little bag. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrawaddict. I'm going to put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.